What up everybody? It's your boy OG Den. Welcome back to another video and we are back in Rochester, Minnesota for the summer and boy did I get a package. I gotta show you guys. Let me go find a bench and we're gonna show you what I got. So these right here are the Seismic Encore 63 and a half inch 78A longboard freestyle wheels. So a couple weeks ago, you guys might have seen a video of mine called something about like the biggest problem with Pavel Snake's wheels. These are the wheels right here. A lot of you guys were like, yo, those aren't freestyle wheels. That's why you're having problems. These are for sliding. I was like, I bet I'm gonna get these ones because somebody in the comments recommended a couple and I checked these ones out and they look pretty sick. They're about the same size as these, maybe a tiny bit smaller, but they're a lot more dense and they're still really light though because they have this unique thing that's found in a lot of these types of wheels called a core. So the whole wheel isn't urethane like the shark wheel right here. The whole This whole thing is just urethane. This on the other hand has the ring of urethane, but then kind of like this plastic core, which makes it super light. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take off the Pavel Snakes, take the bearings out of the shark wheels, put them in these, and then we're gonna check out the performance, see how the tricks work, see how it feels riding on surfaces, and we're gonna have a good time. So let's get started. Bearings are kind of bearings are kind of dirty in these, but hey, that's how it looks. Pretty cool. Yo, I ain't gonna lie with you guys. I am really digging this blue and orange pattern. I'm just saying, that's kind of sick. I mean, come on, come on. Anyways, let's go test the board out and see what my first thoughts are on the wheels. Okay, so first, really, really initial impressions. I'm really, really liking these wheels. They're really light, so it makes popping and flipping the board a lot easier than heavier wheels. They're still pretty smooth on the ground. You know, I'm not really feeling like tons of vibration, which is great. They're grippy enough to keep you on the board, but they can also slide very nicely and very well, probably because the urethane's pretty dense. And last but not least, this particular board, my Rain Nene, review you can check out over here, is a very fast, poppy, snappy board. These wheels, are very fast, poppy, and snappy. So from initial first impressions, seems like a very good fit between the two. All right, now let's keep testing it out, put it through some more strain and see how they hold up. Right, you guys I have some thoughts on the wheels and I wrote them down in my notes so let's go over them all right so the first thing about these wheels is their very fast acceleration this is one of the things that I really enjoy about these wheels so because they are a smaller size they're only 65 and a half millimeters in circumference or no in diameter I don't know one of those it means that it takes a lot less pushing to get to the max top speed now the downside to this 
is that because it's a smaller wheel, you won't have as fast of a max top speed as you would with a larger wheel. But for me personally, with freestyling, I don't really find needing to have a speed that's super, super fast. And the speed that this does get to, in my opinion, is quite good enough. So although it's technically a negative that it's a slower top speed, I don't mind because of the faster acceleration. Can you shut up? Considering how hard the durometer of these wheels are, I think it's quite shock absorbent for what you're getting. Now, that's not to say that it's super shock absorbent like my shark wheels or any other big wheels that I have. When I jump down those big obstacles like benches and stuff and hit the ground, I can definitely feel it in my legs a little more than I would have with my other wheels, but I think it does a good enough job where it's not gonna be an overall long-term concern, and I don't really mind it, to be honest. The other thing that's kind of a concern, but it just kind of depends on you, I guess, is they're kind of loud. They're slightly louder than other wheels. Now, it's not super loud like, you know, your really small skateboard wheels, but it's still a little bit louder than your normal longboard full urethane wheels. Sound test. Now this is gonna depend on the person because for me, I personally like it because I can go in crowded, dense urban areas and not have to worry about people being scared because I'm not there because hopefully they're gonna be able to hear the wheels and know that I'm there and get out of the way. Now, if you're trying to do a little more sneaky, sneaky kind of shady things, you know, you don't want people to know you're there. Well, then maybe it's not the best wheel for you. Another thing that I really like about the wheels is the durability. Now, I've only been riding it for about an hour and a half so far, but so far just looking at them, there's almost nothing missing from them. There's, there's literally no chunks like my snakes had missing from them. And overall, while they're a little dirty now, they still perform just as good as when I first put them on an hour and a half ago, and I see no major wear and tear on them at all. The last point is about sliding. Now these wheels aren't really meant for sliding, at least I think, but I did a couple, you know, push-up slides and you can get it to slide, but you will likely need a lot more speed than I was going to get decent slides with these because they're pretty, pretty grippy with the slides. But yeah, anyways, I would say do not get these wheels if your main focus is sliding. If you want to do a few slides though, they'll probably work just fine. Now with that out of the way, my final thoughts on the wheels for first impressions anyways, is that these are some really awesome wheels. I'm actually going to switch these wheels over to this board permanently from now on and keep using them because honestly, I really enjoy these. I think they are the perfect wheel for somebody that wants to do types a type of longboarding similar to mine, where it's a lot of freestyling, especially on urban obstacles. They're a great wheel for that. So if that's your type of riding style, then definitely, definitely go get these wheels. I highly recommend them. Hey, I kind of forgot to mention this right here, but do not buy these wheels if you want to go on super bumpy ground. They're just not made for that. You got to go with some wheels that are bigger and more squishy, I guess. Yeah. And with that being said, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. We back in Rochester. We got so much content planned for the summer. It's literally insane. I have a lot of huge announcements that are coming up in the next couple weeks. So stay tuned, stay subscribed, like the video. Anyways, it's been your boy OG Den signing out. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. We make videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Peace out. See you guys in the next video. Bye.